Good evening. Welcome to another episode of Whiskey and Wealth Wednesday. Uh, we're actually going to do something a little different this week. Um, inflation has been something that we can't hear enough about, right? It's first, it's transitory, then it's not, then it's permanent, then it's going to be hyper. And we hear all these different things, especially if you're tuning in against advice, against financial advice to the CNBCs and the Fox Business News and so forth about everything inflation. And so some of you have seen our Mind Games videos, uh, which are educational. We're going to merge those. So this is just going to be the introduction to that. Uh, this Mind Games is all about inflation, and I hope you enjoy the presentation. Cheers. November Mind Games Increasing Inflation It is a fact that we are in an environment of rising inflation. But the extent and duration of such inflation is uncertain. Even the Fed isn't sure whether it will be temporary or persistent. The real question is, how will this matter to you? History can help us put things in perspective. Let's take a look at prior periods when we experienced significant increases in inflation. In the 1940s, we were exiting from World War II and experienced inflation spikes of 10% and 17%. For the decade, the inflation rate averaged 5.4%, and yet the stock market performed very well. In the 70s, we had the oil embargo with two significant inflation spikes. The average rate for the decade was 5.4%. Despite the increased inflation, the stock market still produced positive annualized returns. The worst decade of stock market performance in history happened in 2000, when inflation was a tepid 2.5%. There is no consensus on severity or duration of inflation we may face. Regardless, inflation is not predictive of future market performance. Therefore, we should ensure that our plan guides our investment decisions. Should you have any questions, feel free to reach out directly. We'll see you next time.